Today, we're gonna show you how to film a cinematic baseball video. Let's get it. If you're new to the channel, we are Subtle Cinematics. We're a video production company, and we create a lot of educational videos on all things filmmaking. If you're a filmmaker or interested in becoming a filmmaker, be sure to smash that subscribe button below and like this video as we post a ton of educational videos to help creators like yourself take your video skills to the next level. So we were on the way to the shoot and we got a flat. And luckily, Riley's gonna come pick us up. He's the photographer that's gonna be on set today. These uh, new Mercedes don't have spare tires. Absolute shit show, I must say. All right guys, so the shots I'm gonna be capturing are essentially like real estate style shots. We're using a wide angle on here and this is just to capture just how big this facility is. So I'm gonna be shooting at 11 millimeters, so super wide on the wide angle. And I'm gonna be just slowly pushing in, pushing out, shooting in 4K 60 FPS. So we have the option to slow motion the clips down. My loadout for these shots is the DJI Ronin M with the Lumix S1, an MC21 adapter, and the Tokina 11 to 20 millimeter F2.8 wide angle angle with a small HD 501 monitor on the top of my Ronin M. So essentially the shots that I'm going to be grabbing right now, I'm just slowly pushing in. I'm walking heel toe and walking straight. So I'm grabbing those push in, push out shots. So big takeaway for when you're shooting real estate style shots, exposing your environment, whether it is indoor or outdoor, is to at least grab like 10 seconds of clips per angle. So when I shoot a shot of showing this entire facility here behind me, I'm gonna be walking in for at least five to 10 seconds shooting in 60 FPS, just so I have more than enough footage to play around with. So another little tip that I like to do too is just point the gimbal upwards, whether you're using a Ronin M with two handles or with a handheld gimbal like a um, any sort of crane or DJI Ronin S, Ronin RS2. So I'm gonna start actually walking in. So I'm already have my heel ready to go, my heels here. And then as I'm walking in, I walk in for maybe two steps and then I start pointing the gimbal down because if you don't do that, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna start moving and it's just gonna look a little jittery. So what I like to do is just get a bit of a running head start. Start like this and push down. So the shots that we're going to start with um, with Dyson are going to be high intensity shots. So these are arguably one of the most important shots that um, you will need to capture during an athletic type of cinematic video. One thing I want you guys to take note of when you watch the b-roll shots of Dyson actually um, shooting the high intensity shots is his grip on the camera. So he has one hand on his uh, focus and then the other hand is on his grip and you can see too that he's sucking the camera into his body Just to ensure that extra stabilization Another thing that I'm going to mention here too is his footwork So as you can see he's always rolling from one leg to another or heel to toe um, This again just ensures that he gets a nice natural panning motion and not to mention a really nice natural looking Motion for his handheld type shots so I'm gonna hop on the gimbal here with the Lumix S1. I swapped a 35 mil on there and I just wanna get some like parallax shots where I'm just circling around the athletes and capturing other 24 FPS shots that are more high intensity. So a tip about increasing your shutter speed. So I did the exact same thing, but using a gimbal. So I was using the DJI Ronin M and they were basically hitting fly balls for the um, players. And I was basically just running up to the player with the gimbal, shooting at one over 400 shutter speed and F2.8. 
and I believe my ISO was at about 1250 and this just achieved for like a much more cinematic look. It just eliminates that motion blur from shooting one over 50 when you're shooting more high intensity shots of athletes and it just looked absolutely beautiful. So while I was out getting the shots where it was a little more steady with the gimbal, Dyson was handheld with the Z cam, shooting with a 35 millimeter lens, and he was just really getting those shaky, very extreme, high intensity, raw shots. So the one thing that every filmmaker and creative tries to achieve within filming videos is how to get a cinematic look. Whether you're watching YouTube videos on how to get cinematic look or you're looking at forums, in my honest opinion, I think that achieving a cinematic look is understanding two things, composition, and your frame rates and how your shutter speed value, ISO and aperture correlate to that frame rate and the type of shot you're getting. If you can compose your shot and understand your rule of thirds and understand, you know, if I'm gonna be shooting a shot where it's just a white wall or like a green tarp in the background, well, why don't I shift my position so that I can see maybe the other athletes in the background or see the wide open facility and create some depth within my image. So proper composition just kind of takes a little while to get good at. Um, you know, I've been filmmaking for over five years and now I'm finally starting to understand, you know, what shot looks good, what angle do I need to create depth within my image and make every single one of my shots um, just a banger of a shot. So Dyson's rocking the 70 to 200 millimeter cannon on the Z cam. As you can see, he's just staying really still. The only movement that he's doing is literally just moving his arms back and forth like this. You can see he's shifting the weight from one leg to another. So that just ensures extra stability. He's not really trying to walk around with the 70 200 just because um, there's no in-body image stabilization built into the Z cam. The other thing too that I mentioned earlier is just sucking the camera into his chest and making sure that he's gripping both hands on the camera, one on the lens, one on the side handle. And right now he's just getting those super tight close-up shots of the athlete's faces, um, the branding on their shirts. Finish up these shots, I believe he's shooting in slow motion right now. After that, we're gonna um, try to wrap up these scenes here. We have about 40 minutes left of shooting, so a little bit of a time crunch, and then we're heading out to a baseball diamond with some turf, and we're gonna grab the rest of the shots out there. All right, guys, so the next shot that we have on the list is the batting cages shot. So Dice and I will be working alongside each other, capturing shots. I will be on the Lumix S1 with the 70 to 200 millimeter Canon. I'm gonna be getting tight shots of the athlete's faces, tight shots in 180 FPS, so super slow motion of the athletes hitting the bat. Dyson's gonna be running around with a 35 mil Sigma on a Z cam, and he's gonna be getting more of the medium to far away shots. And one thing I want to mention too for Dyson's shots is he's mentally thinking of different spots around the batting cage that would look best. So he picks one spot and he doesn't move from that spot until he knows that he has the shot that he envisioned. So once he gets that shot, then he moves to a different spot. And then after that, he moves to a different spot. So there's times where Dyson was sitting in one spot for literally upwards of like five minutes, but he didn't want to leave because his composition was perfect and he knew he didn't want to just scrap that uh, composition until he had the perfect shot at that said location. So for my shots using the Canon 7200, um, so I was filming at 180 FPS, so super slow motion. I mean, you don't have to be super smooth with the camera and holding it super smooth just because it's super slow motion. It's gonna come out smooth regardless. But either way, what I did was suck my elbows in, hug the camera to my chest, and I just made sure not to put any movement. I didn't want any handheld movement. I was getting pretty well a tripod-like shot. I turned all the IBIS on on my camera, and I literally just sat there, I composed my shot, I shot exactly what I wanted to shoot, and I just sat there. And when I felt that I had the shot, then I moved on to a different location, whether I was looking up at the athlete, straight on with the athlete, uh, making sure to get the logo of their jerseys in there as well. All right guys, so the next shots that we're gonna capture are in the workout facility, so, um, this is where me and Dyson's handheld shots are really gonna come into play for um, any type of weightlifting stuff. This is very similar to the fitness videos that we've shot in the past, the fitness cinematics that you guys have seen on the channel where we break down how to shoot gym videos. So we're gonna be implementing a lot of those techniques into these shots obviously as well. In my opinion, shooting handheld for uh, fitness videos or gym videos is like the best. It looks the most cinematic, it looks the most organic and natural. So in the fitness area, we're just gonna get some wide shots of the facility and the fitness area. Uh, we're gonna be getting some bench pressing shots and then we're gonna have one of the coaches actually spotting one of the athletes on a bench.
next up, we're gonna be shooting the physio area. So that's exactly where I'm standing right here. Pretty sweet layout in here. It's an unreal facility to be shooting in. Um, this is the first time we filmed a baseball cinematic video, but honestly guys, it's not too different from the average workout gym video that we shoot. You know, we implement a lot of the um, camera setting techniques and the composition techniques, but just fit it into the niche of baseball training. And that's one thing that we try to preach on this channel is, you know, don't lock yourself into one niche of filmmaking. If you're creative and you know, you have a creative mind, try to branch out into all avenues of film because you know, when you keep trying out new things, you never know if you're gonna land on, you know, something other than music videos. If you're just a music videographer and you land on gym videos or maybe baseball training videos, you may find that you absolutely love these types of videos more so than the other videos like music videos or wedding films or whatever it may be. So that's why we kind of try to uh, tell you guys to not um, narrow in on one niche, but try to film everything as a whole and implement your techniques even from music videos or wedding films into shoots like this. All right guys, so we're shooting the last scenes here for the day. Uh, we're out at a baseball diamond with some nice turf and everything. So I'm gonna be focusing on close-up shots of the 24 to 70 on the Lumix S1. I'm mostly gonna be shooting at 70 mil. I got an ND filter on here. Dyson's on a Z cam and he's shooting with the 35 mil. So he's gonna get those uh, medium shots and uh, far away shots. Kind of exposing each player uh, from the head to toe and as well as from the waist up. So we're gonna be working in tandem right now, just grabbing a bunch of different shots, bunch of different angles. Um, no real set shots that we have in mind. We're just gonna kind of shoot what looks, what looks best and uh, go from there. All right guys, so we are back at the office. That's a wrap for today's shoot. We didn't vlog the second almost stranded situation. So we were driving back in Riley's car. He gave us a ride back into the city and literally 10, 15 minutes outside of the city, engine check light comes on, his all wheel drive system check light comes on and we pulled over, let the car cool down for a bit. We had to add some oil to the car and we were bombing like maybe 70, 80 kilometers back into the city. So we just barely made it. We just unpacked all the gear back at the office now. What an insane day. This shoot was actually rescheduled. It was pushed by a week because last week we had like out of nowhere, just an absolute crazy snowstorm. The fact that we made it back in the city is God's plan. This shoot was not supposed to happen just because no. of everything that going on between the weather, yeah. first car, absolutely popping the tire and then all of a sudden Riley's car all of a sudden stops like starts stuttering the check engine light comes on so lucky that we were able to make it back but yeah finally back unpacked un undressed undressed <laughs> unwinded yeah other than that guys uh that's a wrap for today's shoot i think it went really well um the bts i think turned out pretty decent i mean we were kind of strapped for time we only had about three hours to shoot this entire video and we also had a second location which was like 15 minutes away from um the facility the cinematic is going to turn out awesome i have full faith that are you gonna edit it i have no idea do you want to edit it? No, I think Kyle said he was editing. Oh, yeah. Kyle's, Kyle's going to edit it. Yeah, right, Kyle, right, right. yeah, he's been, you know, been so he's busy been with itching, the accounting. Itching, itching he's been to get so back busy with the, the accounting and stuff. And, you know, I think uh, he's just got to get back into the editing suite. So I think we're going to lay this one on Kyle. Said he really wants to take a crack at sound effects because that's something that he's been lacking on lately. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that, Kyle. Uh, we hope that. Uh, and, and you have to kill it because if you don't, um, 
you're going to make this day even worse. You know, two bad things happen. Don't make it three. But anyways, guys, that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the behind the scenes. If you guys found value in this video, again, be sure to smash that subscribe button and like this video as it really does help the channel. And if you guys are looking for filmmaking assets, check out the online shop. We sell raw editing files so you guys can practice editing videos without having to shoot the footage on your own. We have lots, presets, all that good stuff. So go and check that out. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.